Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. This is what I would like to see as a new series. Welcome to Scary Videos with Beep Tweebot. <laughs> I hope that the lighting is good, you know, like a scary vibe to it. Um, basically what we're gonna be doing today is wanna make this like a series, you know, part one, part two, you know, kind of drag out these episodes to like maybe 20 minutes. This is a viral Twitter thread. The, the Twitter handle is Gregory88, but it's, in, it's a three as in E. I've seen Day with James. His videos are down in the description too. I love James. He's the best. His videos are great. Just go check him out, all right? And plus he does art, which is which is amazing. You know me, I love art as well. What I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing it like him. I'm not going to record my screen. The story is already finished, I think. There's about 200 tweets. It's just gonna take too long. If there's any videos in the in the tweets, I'm going to put them up on the screen for you to see. And if there's any pictures, I'm gonna do the same for that. So basically the whole video is going to be just my face. Uh, I hope that's okay with you. Just sit back, relax, grab some popcorn. I, I kind of have these. These are like limited edition Cheetos. Man, you know me, always getting the good shit. Let's get started. Something weird is happening in the woods outside my house and I don't know what to do. <laughs> like like James said, it, this is starting out just like any other Twitter, viral Twitter thread. I guess I should start at the beginning. This isn't really my house. It was my grandpa's, but I guess it's mine now. He died a couple of months ago, and because of some tricky paperwork, I'm apparently responsible for it now. Damn, that's that's kind of a, uh, wow. He lived pretty far away, up in the mountains by the lake. There are a couple other houses down the road, but they seem like they're empty for the season. I assume they're summer houses. I've been here for a few days and it's really pretty, but it's super quiet and chilly. And here are some pictures of the landscape. It looks beautiful as hell. My mom never talked about my, my grandpa. I only met him once when I was really young. I think they had a bad relationship, but the few times I asked about it, she got annoyed and changed the subject. So basically, I don't really know what I'm doing here. This guy from my grandpa's estate basically told me the house is mine now, so I came up here to sell it as fast as I can and go home. I guess it's not that easy to just sell a house, especially one in the middle of nowhere. That's kind of sketchy, you know? Um, at any rate, I think I'm alone up here, or at least I was. I figured I'd be up here for a couple weeks to get this all handled, and then I'd go home to be done with it. I'm on break from grad school, so I don't have any other responsibilities at the moment. I feel that, I feel that. But now, weird things are starting to happen. I started on my third day here. There's a little town about 25 minutes away. That's too far. And I'd gone to get some food and supplies since I don't know how long I'm staying. When I got back that evening, there was something strange in my door. It was this artifact. I don't know what to call it. It was obviously homemade. It was made of sticks and twine and had some small bones tied into the middle of it. Wow, that is really weird. Wow, that is definitely a bone. It's such a strange thing to come home to, especially in a beautiful place where you don't th where you think you have no responsibilities and you're all of a sudden bombarded with this artifact hanging on your door or wall. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, I don't know. I didn't think too much of it at the time. I figured it was probably a kid or from one of those other houses trying to mess with me. So I took it off of the door and tossed it in the fireplace. Yeah, that's not probably not a really good idea, bro. I feel like that's where you slipped. By the next morning, I'd pretty much forgotten about it. And honestly, I had too much on my plate at the moment to worry about some kid's prank. Exactly, yeah. So I gotten up that morning, made some breakfast, and went out on the deck with some coffee. That sounds like goals. I was sitting there drinking my coffee when I noticed something hanging in the tree just over the railing. It was another one of those artifacts. It was just like the last one, but it had a rock tied to it instead of a bone. Uh, yep, that's definitely a rock. It's kind of weird, you know? You know, I don't know how long it's been since your grandpa died, but um, I would think, like, maybe someone else had started taking refuge in your house? Who knows? It's kind of, uh, kind of creepy. And then, almost immediately, I saw another one in the tree further down by the ground. I went down the deck, I went down the deck steps to retrieve it, and then I started seeing even more of them. I found about eight in total, hanging in trees all around the house. Well, isn't that something? 
There's a feather. This looks like some kind of animal tied to it, like a bird of some sort, maybe. It makes me feel like since he destroyed the first one, they're like, you know, here, here, he, he must have not liked that one. Let's just give him all kinds of variety. Let's give him a rock, a bone, a fucking bird. I'm sure he would like the bird more. <laughs> Possible animal. They all had different objects tied to them. Bones, feathers, that sort of thing. It was definitely weird, but I was more annoyed than anything, thinking that someone was in my yard decorating the trees with these ugly goth Christmas ornaments. <laughs> What a nice way to deliver that. Also, if someone was trying to scare me, it would take more than some bullshit arts and crafts project to do the trick. I gathered all the artifacts together and burned them like the first one. Damn. You see, now I think he's messing up now, because if they're all around his house, it makes it feel like, like, you know, intimidating. Like, it, he, he's made himself a target now for something. I don't know, some kind of witchcraft, I don't know. I completely respect all of that stuff. If I don't know how to deal with it, I just maybe put it off to the side or don't touch it at all. You know, um, I just don't think burning it is the right decision. And by the way, oh my god, the clock. And by the way, I don't think, like, any of this is real. Like, all these Twitter threads, I think they're all, like, fiction. I forgot to say that at the beginning of the video, but I would like, it's, it's fun to think it's real, you know? It's fun. After I disposed of all the stick things, I took a shower, got dressed, and went back outside to do some basic tidying and whatnot. The deck and the yard are sort of overgrown with, and leaves are starting to fall and cover everything. Being a new homecomer is a lot of work, it turns out. That was when I found something that actually did make me nervous. I was raking, I was raking a corner of the yard when I saw something dark in the, on the ground, off in the trees. I couldn't tell what it was from afar, so I went to investigate. At first I thought it was a blanket, but then I got closer to it. It looked like a big sweatshirt or a hoodie or, or something. I didn't want to touch it, but it was obviously clothing of some kind. I looked around and realized it was a whole encampment. There were a couple of old socks, a pair of what I think was underwear, gross, and a few old napkins scattered about around and a plastic spoon and creepiest of all, a beat up notebook. And you see like in my live streams um, lately, you know, I've been hearing like sounds in the house and stuff. Uh, so I just thought that this would be perfect to, you know, get get ourselves creeped out a little bit. Um, you know, so far it's like, it's just like a weird story, you know, like, because this, this is obviously some people, either they had a really wild weekend, like James said, or they were honestly living there before him, like they were taking refuge at his house. Or maybe it was the grandpa, who knows, you, you don't know. And why did the grandpa pass away? Like, did... I don't, I don't remember, I don't recall them saying anything about it. I flipped open the notebook, but nothing was written inside. A bunch of, a whole bunch of pages that have been ripped out, so, it, so I know someone had been using it. Plus you could sort of see the shadow of pen marks on the most recent page. I, cu I couldn't make out what had been written though. Anyway, that definitely freaked me out. It was clear someone was camping out on my property and possibly trying to scare me out of the house. I wasn't really sure what to do about it though. What could I do? I definitely didn't sleep well that night. Yeah, I don't blame you. That was the day before yesterday, and this is still October 29th, 2018. Um, that was the day before yesterday. The next morning, I sort of expected more weird artifacts to be outside, but I didn't see anything. Now that's kind of, that, I don't, I think that's creepier than if there would be artifacts all over again, but maybe they're just like, maybe he's just looking through all of the artifacts that we gave him. Maybe he's just like testing them out or something. So we're just gonna give him a day. And the encampment was gone. Oh wow. So I figured it was probably a homeless person passing through or something. Oh man. <laughs> and I see in the comments, he did. <laughs> all right. The driveway ends, the driveway ends a ways up from the house and then you have to trek down a path which bins around the side of the house to get in. I was walking around the house when I saw movement across the yard near a tree. I froze dead in my tracks. And by the way, you guys can follow along if you want. I'm gonna put a thing at the beginning of the video. Uh, I forgot to say that at the beginning as well. Um, but yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not recording the screen. I stopped dead in my, sh I froze dead in my tracks. I thought that was the end of it and I turned my attention back to the house. I realized the house had almost no cleaning products and ended, and I needed to pick up supplies again. I drove into town and picked up some Windex 
a not sponsored some some spare light bulbs and some other stuff then came home the driveway ends a ways up to the house okay and then this tweet is just repeated the driveway ends a ways up from the house and then you have to trek down to the path which bends outside bends around the side of the house to get in i was walking around the house when i saw some movement across the yard near a tree i froze dead in my tracks someone was standing under the tree staring at my house they didn't see me though since I was also partly behind some trees and a good distance away, whoever it was. They were wearing the same dark hoodie I'd seen in the grass the day before. Okay, and here's the picture. As quietly as I could set down my shopping bags next to me and slipped my phone out of my pocket, I managed to take a couple of photos, but the person turned and disappeared into the woods. Okay, that's kind of sinister. And if I zoom in a little bit, you can see the face. It's kind of messed up. The heck is wrong with them? Um, huh. I don't know if this was a good idea. <laughs> I stood there a couple minutes, too nervous to. I stood there for a couple minutes, too nervous to move in case the person came back, but they didn't. So I picked up my bags and hurried inside. I picked up the phone to call the cops, but put it back down because I didn't even know what to tell. What I'd tell them. Yeah, that that makes sense. <laughs> what are you gonna tell them? Like this sinister. They're freaking hanging up artifacts in your yard. I mean, like, uh, I think that would be smart to tell them. I, I'm not sure, though. I actually don't know. And, like, all the paperwork for the house, I don't know if that gets in the way of anything with the law. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, someone was looking at my house like any police officer would take me seriously. And, like an idiot, I destroyed all the weird artifacts from before. So there wouldn't be any evidence. I felt like there was nothing I could do, nothing I could do right then. I was mad at myself and feeling scared all alone in the house, so I locked all the doors and left out the back. I went down the lake because I didn't know where else to go. I just knew I didn't want to be in the house at that moment. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I forgot what I was going to say. I think I was going to say something, but I don't know if it's important. I walked a ways down the lake shore, then sat for a while looking out at the water. I thought about getting in my car and just going home, but I felt like that would get me in trouble. There's all sorts of property tax stuff I don't understand. I felt trapped. Yeah, I respect that. I feel that. I feel, I feel. On a whole nother level, I feel. But yeah, maybe that guy was sitting outside, like standing outside, like, you know, maybe he just wanted a hug or something, you know? New neighbors, you know? Freaking wanted to know how he liked his artifacts. Also, I couldn't decide if if I was actually in any danger. When my grandpa died, it took me a couple months to actually get up to the house. So maybe someone was squatting in the empty house? Yeah, I recently learned what the word squatting actually meant. Um, it's, when you, it's when you take refuge in a house or a property or a building that's not yours. And now that I'm here, they might just leave on their own accord. It was starting to get dark, so I reluctantly headed back to the house. I walked up the stairs leading to the back of the house but right before going inside I got this weird chill I made up my mind that I absolutely did not want to stay in the house overnight I decided to go get my car and drive into the town to find a motel for the night the house was all locked up and I already had my keys so I went back around the house to went back around the house and toward the path that led to the driveway and that's when I saw her the figure from before standing right in the middle of my front lawn, staring straight at my house. I froze in place, completely in shock. I was practically right next to her, but it, almost, but it was almost as if she didn't see me. Then it hit me. She couldn't see me because she had no eyes. She had no fucking eyes. Just shiny skin over where her eyes should be. And she had almost no hair at all. I wanted to run, but... I felt like if I moved even a little, she'd hear me. As quietly as I could, I went for my phone. I needed some sort of evidence to show the. I needed some sort of evidence to show the cops. Do I have my headphones? No, no. I needed some sort of evidence to show the cops. It all felt like it was happening in slow motion. I felt. I feel sick to my stomach as I'm writing this, but I was able to get it on video. My heart is racing just thinking about this. I haven't been I haven't been able to watch it since I recorded it 
But here it is. <sighs> oh man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's the video. Ew, man, her head, her face. that bro did you see that oh that head turn though sexy as hell bro Oof. God damn dude that was like almost un that was almost unhuman inhuman is that the right word I don't know I ran back around the house and got inside I scrambled upstairs and looked out my bedroom window at the front yard but she had vanished how do you know it's a she though like honestly legit remembering it now it feels like it didn't really happen like it was a nightmare or something i don't know man but you know sleep paralysis nightmare night terrors all those things can you know be pretty crazy but if you got it on video then i'm sure it actually happened okay i called the cops and explained what had happened i'm sure i sounded crazy but they said they they'd send someone by in the morning and to keep my doors locked so that's where I am now, alone in the woods, freaking out. <laughs> god damn it, and you should be relaxing, oh my god. You know, just, the only thing you have to be worrying about right now is taxes. <laughs> like every other American, and person on the planet probably. I know I won't be able to sleep tonight. I felt lightheaded and nauseous. I don't know what's going to happen, I'm scared shitless. I would be too, honestly. And I think um, you should get some rest, because if you don't, I'm pretty sure maybe you'll come off even even crazier to the cops whenever they come. So yeah, get some sleep. Sleep, Greg. Uh, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it off right now, dude.